To create an effective elevator pitch, you've only got to do three simple things. Understand your value, create a value proposition statement, and then put it inside the elevator pitch template. This pitch is going to make you money, it's going to get you new leads, and you can build it in just five or ten minutes today. Hi, my name is Will and I make selling simple. So the first step in building your elevator pitch is to understand what your buyer wants from you and then to give it to them. <laughs> Don't overcomplicate this process. That's right, your elevator pitch is based around how you can help your buyer rather than your product or your service. That's somewhat selfish. We want to be selfless with our pitch if we want to book a meeting on the back of it. If you don't give the buyer what they want, then they're never going to spend time with you so that you can get what you want from them, which is a commission check. So how the heck do we understand the value that we can give to our buyers? Three steps, right? I want you to list out all of your products. List them out on a page of A4, pen and paper, let's get old school with this. Then for each one of those products, understand and write out your value producer. So what is the value that comes from each one of these products when it gets into the marketplace, into the hands of your ideal buyers? Then again, for each one of the products or services that you list down, write out any pain reducers that they have. Do they reduce the pain of administration or paperwork? Do they reduce the pain of financing in an organization? Whatever it is, write down both the value producers and the pain reducers of each one of your products. And if you've been through this step and really whole heartedly had a good go at it, you've probably got a page or two of notes at this point. And of course, we can't fit all of this into an elevator pitch, nor should we want to try and get all of this in an elevator pitch either. Remember, the goal of your elevator pitch is to get a meeting booked. You're never going to close a deal off just saying one or two lines to a stranger in a corridor, in a conference, or in a, an event. All we're trying to do here is introduce ourselves, pique their interest, and get a meeting arranged. So how do we do that? We pick the one or two most value producing or pain reducing elements of one of our products, and that is what makes up our elevator pitch. And the final step in this first part of the process is to ask an incredibly, incredibly important question. A question that if more salespeople asked this before they did cold calls, cold outreach, built cadences, talked and communicated about their product, the world of sales would change forever. And that question is, does the buyer give a shit? So for each one of the products and the pain reducers or value producers that you've included in your list, run through all of them and ask yourself the question, does the buyer really, genuinely, does the buyer give a shit about this? If not, cross them off, cross them off until you end up with one or two that are going to be the most powerful and the most effective to share in your elevator pitch. Then it's time to pull some of this together and build what we call a value proposition statement. So there are two ways to build your value proposition statement. And the point of a value proposition statement is just to take the value, the products, everything that we described in the first step and make it more palatable and easier to communicate. The first way of doing this is called the XYZ approach. I help X person solve Y problem by doing Z thing. So for me, selling our salesman.com academy to the enterprise, to salespeople, small business owners, I say, hey, I help salespeople find and close more sales using simple frameworks like this one and group coaching as well. So I help X person solve Y problem by doing Z thing. That's one way to build your value proposition statement. The other way is slightly more in depth. We call this the for, do, does, desire, unlike process. It goes like this, I help these people do, which does, cause desire, unlike a competitor. So for me, I help salespeople find and close more deals, which then allows them to earn an additional 50 to $100,000 in a predictable sales process. Unlike traditional sales trainers who tend to just encourage their students to spam crappy outreach to try and book meetings. So I help do, which does, desire, unlike, this is the second way to go about building your value proposition statement. Which leads us on to the final step of this process. Now we get our value proposition statement and slot it into our elevator pitch template. And the simplest and most effective elevator pitch template that I know of, that we use all the time at salesman.com to put our message in the hands of new potential customers is, hi, and then your name, value proposition statement, then we follow it with, I think we might be able to help. Would it make sense to schedule a quick call this week? So we're not saying I can definitely help you, we can do this, we can do that, I can do all these things. We're saying, hey, I might be able to help. Would it make sense to jump on a quick call? Book a quick call this week? We're not forcing this down the throats of the person that we're meeting, because an elevator pitch, we're probably meeting them for the very first time. We're going, oh, I could probably help you. And even the way you say this, tonality-wise, you want to keep this very conversational. Hey, I will, blah, 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 blah. I think we could probably help, you know. That's how we want to say it. That's how we want to communicate it with the person when we're sharing it with 
system. So let's tie all of this together. Let me give you one final example here of how your elevator pitch should look when you're saying it, when you're communicating it, the tonality and everything else that we need to include to make this effective when we share it with potential customers. Hi, I'm Will. I help salespeople and small business owners find and close more deals in typically the next 30 days or their money back. I think we might be able to help you here, you know, going on from what I've just seen, what I've read, what we've just talked about, what we've experienced. And with that, you know, would it make sense to schedule a quick call this week? And see how I went down at the end of this. I posed the question as an authoritative question. Unauthoritative questions go, uh, would it make sense to schedule a quick call this week? Maybe. So we want to avoid that, right? We want to go down towards the end of the sentence when we're asking a authoritative question. Would it make sense to schedule a quick call with me and the team this week? So that is it. That is how you create a super effective elevator pitch in just a few simple steps. And if you enjoyed this video, why not click the video that's on the screen right now and continue making selling simple.